What is up everyone? It is Parbus X here and today I will show you how you can get a custom operating system on your Chromebook. Please note that this process may require you to disassemble your Chromebook a bit and it can be very risky and you can break your device if you don't know what you're doing. And back up all of your data before you do this because this will reset your Chromebook and all of that. I will not be responsible if you break your device. Alright, let's get started with this video. <laughs> So right here, I will be using my Acer Chromebook 311. Now we're going to head to the Cool Store Chromebook Helper. This will basically help us with like what we need to do, like what method could you use to disable right protection and all of that. So go to this website on another computer. So choose the brand of your Chromebook, click next, then choose your CPU. Just look up the specs of your Chromebook and choose the right CPU you have. Then choose the right model number, in my case is that. And now here are all the steps you need to do. So as you can see for my Chromebook, we have to remove the battery to disable right protection. That will involve taking the Chromebook apart, like just remove the back and all of that. Also, I will leave the link to the description of all these websites, including Coolstar and Mr. Chromebook. Some Chromebooks may use a different method, so make sure you read that first thing where, where you can disable the right protection and install the firmware. And the rest of these are just to install Windows. So if you're installing Windows, then you can continue with other other steps, but if you're installing something else like Linux, all you really have to do is just the first step. Alright, so now I'm going to take apart my Chromebook and just remove the back of it. So, from mine, I just have to remove the 12 screws on the back. So be careful when doing this because you could end up breaking your Chromebook if you don't know what you're doing. And different Chromebooks use different methods to remove it. So, if you're really stuck, you can use a disassembly guide, but be really careful when you're doing this. Make sure the laptop is also off. So now I'm going to pry the bottom cover of my Chromebook. Alright, now as you can see, I finally got the back cover off. So now we're going to disconnect the battery from the motherboard. So it's just a little connector that I just removed. And then you could take out the battery. Be really careful with this and now we can put the back cover back on but you don't have to put the screws back on and now that your battery is moving you're gonna have to plug your chromebook in all right now press escape refresh and power at the same time now when you see this screen press ctrl d then press enter this will put your chromebook into developer mode and make sure you back up your data because everything will be reset and now your Chromebook will like, it will take a few minutes, but now when it's in developer mode, it should show that screen, like the verification is off or whatever. And then it will boot back into Chrome OS, the setup. Alright, now let's connect to the internet. And now once you get connected to the internet, press Control alt and then the right arrow. This will bring you to that terminal thing. And now type in this following command and then press enter. So this is also on the Mr. Chromebooks the Tech website which is in the description.
Now it will run the Mr. Chromebox script. It will show you some options. We're going to do the second option, which is install slash update UEFI firmware. And then follow instructions. Make sure you actually want to do this. You will now need a USB flash drive or an SD card. So grab an empty one and then plug it into the Chromebook. You will need this to have back up the original firmware that was on the Chromebook. So I'm going to take my USB flash drive and plug it into the USB port. After that, press enter. And now select the number that's in front of your USB drive and type that number in. And then press enter. It will now start the whole process. When it's done backing up, you can remove it and then press enter. And now it will start the process of flashing the firmware. Now be really careful with this, but be sure not to remove your cable. And this is the probably one of the moments where you can like actually break your device if you do something wrong. So please be really careful during this moment. So when it says it's finished, you can then turn off the Chromebook, disconnect the cable, and put the battery back in and reassemble. And then you're officially finished. Now you can grab a USB flash drive and put any UEFI operating system you want on it. If you're putting Windows, be sure to follow the other steps on the Coolstar website. I'm going to be installing Ubuntu.